everybody, how's it going? It's Matt here today. Um, I've been doing I've been doing some um, Dukes of Hazard videos lately, and I uh, and I um, just just recently joined a Dukes of Hazard group on Facebook, and um, I asked them if they wanted to see my um, diecast model of the Double Zero, and everybody everybody thought that'd be that'd be a great idea, and I, and I got a pretty pretty good response from that. So here we are doing doing a video of my Double Zero diecast model. Um, I I believe this is pretty rare pretty rare car. It's not made no more. Like the, the the die cast model is not made no more, uh, because um, with these models here, um, they, they they come in a series, and once they're made, once they're sold, that's it. So uh, and they they might come out with, they might come out with a different different version, but um, if you see a car and you you better get a, get get a hold of it because um, chances are you won't see it again. And maybe maybe next time it, it might come out as a little more detailed, but um, it's it's different different version from what the what the original was. So I think this is quite original. Uh, I have not seen one since. I bought this in 2003 at a at a um, diecast model store, and uh, it was it was it was in a box like the it was it was, a, it was in general General Lee box actually from the Dukes of Hazard, and I thought, man, that car looks so cool. It'd be so cool if we can get that. So uh, I asked my parents if I can get it, and they, for some reason they agreed. They thought they, they thought it looked cool too. They, they, they thought it looked cool as well, and so it's. It, um, it's um, it sits in my little sits in my little case downstairs beside beside the General Lee, because it is the General Lee's rival, and uh, in the Dukes of Hazzard reunion, that's that's when you that's when you first see Double Zero, and they say that Double Zero is the first car to beat the General Lee in an overland race, and so that's what happens in the Dukes of Hazzard reunion. Uh, they're ha they're having another overland race to save to save the farm from evil land developers who wanted to put uh, put a uh, um. Put a Hazard, Hazard County theme park inside Hazard Swamp, and Hazard Swamp is somehow somehow connected to the Duke Farm, and so Hazard Swamp is in jeopardy, and so is the Duke Farm. So Bo and Luke have to come back to Hazard, uh, to, um, dust off the General Lee, and race this Double Zero, who is who is, who is souped up and ready to go, and General Lee is not ready to go. It's like it's like like um, it's like how do I explain it? Like I'm fifty percent good, and I guess. 50% capacity, I don't know, something like that, but generally is not 100%, but, um, point blank there, but double zero is 100% and ready to go, so that's what puts, more, puts, Dukes in little, puts Dukes in jeopardy, if you've not seen the Dukes of Hazzard reunion, it is an awesome movie, um, it's, I, think, I think it's really well, really well written, um, it, uh, there were some flaws to it, but uh, we can discuss that some other time, so I just want to take, take a quick look here, the, the, engine, the engine is pretty... Uh, is pretty well detailed, um, and same with the cars. Uh, uh, the cars doors open. You have a you have a gas pedal in there. You have the gear shift. There's steer steering wheel. You have this you have the speed speedometer. Uh, even the side the sides of the doors are nice. You have like the uh, on window openers. But in this car, the the on um, the on um, the trunk does not open. But in the original, and he says double zero. Let me get that a little better. No, it doesn't want to focus on me, but it says double zero hazard. Another view of the passenger side. Yeah, looks pretty good. So um, the, the the thing that I tell you tell you in every video that I have for every, every collectible, if this if this sorry if this comes in a box. Make sure you keep that box mint condition. I know, I, I know you want to take it out for, um, take it out, take it, out, take it out a few times. But if you do take it out, be very, very careful with the box. You do not want that box damaged at all. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of wear and tear on it is is acceptable, but not a lot because that box, um, is sometimes worth more than the car itself. Um, if if, if you have this car but no box, it's kind of incomplete. So, um. If you have something in the box, keep the box, keep it in a safe place. It's actually more important than the vehicle itself. All right, so that is my double zero. Um, as seen in the Dukes of Hazzard reunion, uh, kind of is kind of General Lee's most fierce ri rival because apparently it's the only car that ever beat him. But it, it was never in the show, was it? I I can't remember. I've seen every I've seen every I've seen every episode of it, but I. Do not remember the general the double zero in in the series. I think it's only featured in, in the reunion, and they kind of made it into a big character. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching this this uh, double zero review of my diecast model. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I have a, I have all kinds of all kinds of um, memorabilia to show people. Like I, I have entertainment, I have sports, I have um, I have wrestling, I have all kinds of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, so um, I appreciate it if you check out my channel and then check out some videos. That'd be great. And um, we'll see you around. And thanks for thanks for wanting to see this video as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.